So we've got some scratches in the floor. We haven't even camped in this trailer once yet. Uh, still building it. But um, it's going to happen, I suppose, especially when you're leaving stuff like this laying around on the floor and not cleaning it. And our things just fall and they scratch. So I picked up these touch up markers, repair markers at Home Depot. And I'm thinking this one is going to be the closest color. So I'm just saying to uh, test it first if the color matches, apply it to the damaged area. You can reapply to darken it and remove excess pigment with the cloth. Allow to dry. So let's see. What's inside here? Looks like just like a magic marker. I thought it would be more of a crayon. All right, well, let's try and give it a try. Hmm, let's go darker. Here, I'll do half of this line so we can compare. So I'll just go to here. Hmm. How about this? Wow. Yeah. Doesn't look like it's working very well. I might take these back. I know I've seen actual crayons somewhere else, so I might go get those instead, because this is not very impressive. I'm going to give it one more try, just because uh, I'm going to try to be fair. So here's a darker one. Let's go with the darker color. Well, actually, you know, it's a little bit, at least it's not white now. You can see the difference there, but it still isn't as dark as I really thought it was going to be. Let me try one more. Let me try to just kind of daub it in there like a bingo dauber. Let's see what happens. Mm, I mean, I don't know. I can see that it's a whole different color, so I'm not going to go any further. Yeah, I think I'll take these back and I'll try the actual crayons. Alright, thanks for watching. This is it after it's dried for a bit. It's not too bad from a distance, but up close, I mean, it's obviously too red. So, what I did is I returned those to Home Depot. I went to Lowe's and I found this. Quick and easy wood repair. So, give it a try. Got the old blend and fill pencil. Let's try it out. Okay, I'll do uh, half of this one so we can kind of see from this scratch here. So. That's a lot better. Jeez, way better. So that's what I was expecting from the other product. So this is more like a, a crayon. It's very waxy. Um, it says to rub it with a rag, but I'm just gonna use the old magic, magic fingers here, let's see. Too bad, not too bad. Well, I mean, you can see it still, but it's a lot closer in color. 
because this was just like a magic marker and it didn't cover well. You could see the whites, you know, right through it. So that's a lot better, way better. Let me go ahead and do the whole thing. All right, all filled in. I feel like if you kind of scratch it with your nail, you can get some of the excess off of there. But at least it's the same color now, and it actually stuck to that white. So, um, looking pretty good. So from a distance, yeah, I dig it. So uh, definitely the Blend Fill Pencil by Minwax worked out pretty good, pretty good. Thanks for watching.